Greetings YouTube. I just wanted to do a quick craft haul update and um, some things that I've gotten recently. I haven't really done much shopping in a while and I don't have too much stuff but um, I was excited to finally buy some new craft supplies after a few months so um, let's get started. Uh, first thing that I got, I got these today, um, were some washi tapes. These were cute. There's like a gingham and a green stripe and this blue chevron. And I love that uh, Michael says this. They were $4.99, uh, sold as is for $1.25 just because the package was ripped. So, awesome. Um, I also have some other new washi tapes. No, cat. No. No cat. We're going to have problems. I have a new kitten and I have a feeling he's going to come help me. Stay there. Um, so I got some other new washi tapes in an order that I had from Stampin' Up. Um, this was one of their Christmas sets. So there's this red polka dot. This silver, it's kind of like a herringbone. Oh, he's already playing with stuff. And this green one that's got kind of this... I don't really know what we call that interesting pattern. I like it though. Not a cat toy. Um, and I got two sets of these which were the um, Witch's Brew washi tape. Um, so there's this really cool skull um, and this orange and white chevron and then this text which is just talking about Halloween and look, all sorts of interesting stuff. So, two sets of those because I love it so much. Awesome. I've wanted those since last year. This is clearance from last year's stuff. Um, got some other Halloween goodies because stuff's just starting to come out in stores. Um, so I got this cute, it's one of these creatology paint your own sort of things that Michaels does. Um, and I haven't liked most of theirs for the past few years, um, for the Halloween ones, but I thought this one was really cute. It's a cat with a pumpkin. And then I got this. I really like these laser cut wood things. I'm not really sure. I'll probably just hang this on my door. I'll probably paint it for my door. Oh, here comes trouble. This is Jasper. Jasper's the new kitten. He's not a baby baby. He's about six months old. But Okay, Jasper. You want to look at the camera? No? You want to get down? Good. Get down. Um, and I have some other, speaking of woodcut things, um, I bought this one. And I've already painted. That's my foot. <laughs> I've already painted it. Um, blue and gold and I'm using this because I'm being attacked I'm being attacked <laughs> uh, my apartment door for some reason doesn't have numbers on it everyone else's does I don't I don't know what's up with it but there's no number on my door so I bought this and I painted the frame and then I got some numbers um, so I'm gonna put my apartment number just paint that gold and then probably put a background of um, Oh, here it is. I'll just do a solid wood. I'm going to cut a square out of this piece. Um, numbers and hang that on my door so that people coming to my apartment know where I live and can find me. Um, yeah. So I also got these pumpkin stickers. They're just little tiny guys. Pumpkins and leaves. Those are cute. And I got some of these stickers. Oh my god. Okay, so these stickers, um, Michaels had these last year too, but with different designs. Um, so I found all the designs they had and got two sheets of each, and I'm sure I'll buy more. These are like the best glow in the dark stickers ever. They glow like crazy strong. They're perfect for resin. Um, if you are interested in resin crafting or other crafts and you like Halloween, you need to go buy these. They're a dollar. They're at Michael's. They're in like the kids craft Halloween section. Not obviously like the scrapbooking, but with their like Halloween decor and stuff. So there's that one. 
this one that's got this really cute little witch, kitty cat, the cat with the pumpkin that matches the cat with the pumpkin. See? How cute. Two of those. And then the last one is this one, Happy Haunting. It's got a haunted house, some bats, pumpkins, this really cool dancing skeleton, the owl on a pumpkin. Anyway. These just glow like super bright. It doesn't even have to be dark for them to glow. They're amazing. Buy some. Or I'm going to buy all of them. I love them. Oh, the cat just turned on the laptop. Un momento. Sorry about that. This is the joy of kittenhood. He's supposed to be sick. He's not supposed to be running around like a crazy thing, but he is. Anyway, where were we? Stickers. Yay. Um, so I picked up some more Hello Kitty stickers. These are the ones um, that they have at Michael's so that in the dollar stuff um, with the cute mermaids. I really like the one in the submarine. And I already have a couple of sheets of these already, but they're like kids, what were they calling it? I don't know, like kids toys and games and whatever. It was all 50% off, so these were only 50 cents today, so I thought I'd grab another sheet of these. And I have some other Hello Kitty stickers that I grabbed from Target. Um, they had these in their dollar section. And most of the Targets I'd been to were have been out of the stickers of these for ages. I didn't get a chance to buy them. But this Target I went to yesterday still had some in. So Pirates plus Hello Kitty equals heck yeah. Alrighty, and then... I have a bunch of papers that I got. These are all Halloween. Um, so we can look at these. Um, these were from my last Stampin' Up! order. Um, and again, these were clearance stuff from last year's stuff. Um, so there's this one. And on the back, I think this one's so cool. Shakespeare Company presents Yorick, the King's Jester. Um... I just love the artwork on that one. So there's that. There's two of each, so you can use the front and the back. This one is just like a really dark kind of herringbone. Um, and it's got these cool bingo cards on the back. There's this one, the Night Owl. Um, I haven't actually read all the things that are on here, but it's really cool. There's a lot of... Um, references to Shakespeare and Edgar Allan Poe and just really beautiful artwork and so those are fun. Um, and then there's just this really small green, oh that's busy on the camera, uh, green pattern on the back of that one. There's this one that's got like a really cool spooky tree and on the back is this really pretty dark gray with black an orange kind of tile motif. This one is probably my favorite just because I love ravens. Um, so again it's you know a nice Edgar Allan Poe reference um, with the kind of you know old fence motif at the bottom there. And then on the back of this one um, actually has the text of the raven um, which is just really cool I love this I love this paper set I would have bought more if I had the <laughs> inclination um, and there's this it's just a really fine really small gray check um, and then on this side is another almost like tile looking diamonds of gray with orange accents. So that was all from that set. Um, and then this is another paper set. Um, one of their other Halloween ones. I wish I could remember the titles of them, but I don't. Sorry. So this one's orange with this nice skull design and then on the back again this reminds me of like a tile floor but I like it it's got spiders in the corner and spider webs and the um, 
it's kind of like sketchy looking, which I really like. So two of those. These ones are really neat. Enter at your own risk, trick or treat. Again, it's that kind of hand drawn look. Um, and then on the back, it's got this. Ooh, ooh, camera doesn't like that one. Come on, focus on the thing. There you go. Spider webs and spiders. Lots of dark grays, which I really like. This one's kind of a yellowy green. It's got really small, really small spiders and spider webs. And then on the back, it's got this um, text with this skull overlay. And it's um, it's like definitions of all sorts of things. So there's like arachnophobia, costumes, vampire, jack-o'-lantern. So just kind of Halloween. It's like your Halloween vocabulary lesson. And this one I thought was really cute. It kind of looks like chalkboard style. Witches candy shop. Dreadful delights and terrible treats for your demented soul. Um, so I just thought these are really neat looking. And then on the back is this weird kind of disjointed chevron kind of thing going on. It's, it's an interesting texture. Background pattern. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. So this one's just kind of like orange, black, and yellow stripes. Just kind of your classic halloween -y colors. And I really like this one, too. Um, it's got that same, like, vocabulary kind of look in the background, spliced. Um, and then these bat graphics overlaid over it. Really neat. This one, it's another kind of chalkboard-looking one, and it's just this really nice frame. Someone is scratching the carpet. And then on the back is just orange with black dots. And yeah, so that's the end of those. Whew. Yeah, I'm gearing up for Halloween, but I bought these in like June, maybe. Because they're, they were on clearance. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and then speaking of clearance, I also went to Joanne today just to buy... Um, their fleece was on like crazy sale, so this is one of the ones I got. Their, um, blizzard pattern fleece was 70% off. So all of their blizzard fleece patterns were $2.99 a yard. And then, as you know, if you buy remnants of fabric, it's 50% off whatever the current price is. So remnant fleece blizzard pattern, not solids was became a dollar forty nine a yard and remnants are under a yard well with fleece it can be up to a yard and a half but most of the time it's going to be under a yard so like the maximum you would be paying would be a dollar forty something so they're basically giving the stuff away i had to get some just because i use fleece for liners and bedding for my hedgehog cages so anytime it's on sale i go and snap it up so i got this one and a couple of other ones just because they were cheap so while I was there anyway whoo off track um, I bought some other goodies because there was a bunch of stuff that they had on clearance so um a lot of the smashbook stuff's kind of going away their section was super cleared out um, but I managed to find for 97 cents this anchor um, it's one of the three color ones it's got pink orange and yellow um, and so it just snaps apart and there's three different colors. 97 cents, not gonna say no. And then there were these um, like wood embellishments. They had some of these were on clearance. So this one has uh, owls and clocks. Those were 97 cents. And then this one, I got two of these. There are like these frames. You got really nice detailing on them. I really like the frames like this. I use them in cards and, and on tags for things. Um, so two of those, those are 97 cents. 
I grabbed this little dude because he was 50 cents and he's adorable. It's just a little fabric patch. Um, I love lions. This was in the baby stuff. No idea what I'm going to do with it, but it was just really cute. And then a lot of the like card making stuff was on clearance. All the David Tutera stuff. Um, so I just got this. These are the A1. These are the really small, like three and a half by five ish. Um, so there's 12 cards and envelopes. 97 cents. So those will be great for card making. Awesome. And then I got this. Um, this is just some die cuts, journaling die cuts. Um, this again was 97 cents. There's all these different pieces in here. I think there's, I don't know, I can't see how many pieces there are, but there's these like poker chip ones are kind of neat. And, um, anyway, 97 cents was super cheap for that. And then the last thing I got was this um, set. Um, this was $1.97, and it is, um, it's got die cut shapes. So there's some cute ones there. And then it's got some 3x4 journal cards. Some 4x6 journal cards. And then it's got some label stickers. And then it's got these alphabet stickers that are like wood grain. So um, this is all the stuff that's in here. So again, that's a whole bunch of stuff for $1.97. So anyway, yep. That was my shopping today, um, with the exception of the stuff that was in the order from Stampin' Up, but that was, hasn't really been unpacked until today, so, uh, yeah, sorry, this video was probably way too long and rambling, but I get excited when I get to buy things, so, um, thank you so much for watching, have a great day, bye!